you're not gonna get there overnight. And I, don't, I don't think you can find a crib for a thousand fifty hundred, Cali. Yes, you can. I mean, you ain't gonna be in the nicest neighborhood. You oh, not know oh, where oh. you live. Okay, you, 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 we you live. live. What you mean? We guy. live. <laughs> we live in the same neighborhood, damn dude. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Got it out of the mud and no car, no clutch. Yeah, and it's amazing. Yeah, getting paper. Yeah. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Red Kicks, man. We tuning back in. We actually in the field right now, but we had just did a sneaker meet up. The shoes in the trunk, you know what I'm saying? So I'm. I don't know why I said that, but regardless, this video is not a sneaker meetup. This video, we're going to be talking about some, uh, just some advice, you know what I'm saying? Some advice for resellers, some honest, you know what I'm saying? Straight off the dome advice. Let's see what they tell me. We're going to answer a question from one of my previous videos. Hmm. How many pick? shoes? Uh, I'll go see you want me to pick. You want to pick? Yeah. All right. I was going to, I was going to, uh, kind of ask one, but we'll say that one for the next one. You're going to pick one. Oh, I got one. How many shoes were you moving when you realized you could get your own place and car? <laughs> I was gonna pick that's straight though. I'm gonna, we'll do it on this. Oh wait, video, no, I'll, I'll do a different one. No, 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 no. We already we, they, you already asked. So How do they, you spend? They might want to know because you already asked. So oh yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. How many <laughs> shoes? How many shoes were you moving when you realized you could get your own place and car? Okay, so this question I've actually got this a lot. Basically, how do you know when it's time to go full time reselling? So. Oh. Let me, I think this is a very easy question to answer for me, but some of y'all might not like the answer. But I'm gonna just be real with y'all. You know it's time to resell when you know it's time to full-time resell. You know it's time to live off of reselling when you know it's time to live off of resell. I, you might not like that answer, but that's the truth. When I was uh, living on my sister's couch, now I had a I had a like uh what did, what do you say what what's the word like Nine I had five? a good reason no 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 oh. like I had a good reason like I had a lot of motivation because it was either because my sister was moving to Japan mm. and I couldn't go back to my mother's house so it's like my only option was either resell shoes for a living and make enough to have my own place or be homeless <laughs> so I was really motivated because I was mm. not trying to be homeless so you know what I'm saying I was working my ass off to get to the point where I could resell without, you know what I'm saying, uh, where I could resell full time and not have to worry about, you know, how am I gonna pay rent and stuff like that. But the truth of the matter is, when you know it's time to resell, for, when you know it's time to go full time and get a crib, then it's time. If, it's, if you don't know, it's not time. Mm. And it's basically like, if you don't know you can afford something, you can't afford it. That's simple. Like you Ooh. could you could try to break the bank and you could try and just do it anyways because you think you might be able to make something shake real quick and get rent, you know, next month. But you're not gonna feel comfortable doing that. Mm. So the thing is, you should feel hella comfortable. Like for example, when I bought this car. When I bought this car, this is a fifteen thousand dollar car. I did not buy it all cash. I put five K down and I, I did payments or whatever. The reason I bought I knew I was ready to buy this car was because I literally went there like I could buy any of these used cars cash like I could buy them cash but I'm not gonna but I was like I, I went in like that I was like it doesn't matter whatever you want how much do I need to put down just what I was just trying to figure out what I could get approved for because I didn't have no credit so I was like how much you need me to put down he was like like three three thousand I was like I'll put down five thousand make my my bills better smooth process did the payments no problem now I was ready to buy this car, 2016 Nissan Altima. I was ready to buy this car. That's why it was so easy. That's why there was no stress. I didn't have to ask nobody, am I ready to buy it? I knew I was ready to buy it because I could have bought it cash if I wanted to. I just didn't want to because I wanted to build my credit. That's how I was with this apartment too. My apartment that I moved into or a townhouse that I live in, it's like the monthly payments. I knew I could bank the monthly payments. So I was like, not a problem. Like I, I told the dude before I was like, dude, I honestly could pay. I could pay the next six months in advance if you want me to, you know, and that's how, you know, you can afford something. If you have to ask if you can afford it, you can't afford it because mm. you would know. That's what I'm saying. Like you would know, like when it comes to this car, OK, this a car I could afford. No problem. Right now, if I walked into a Mercedes Benz dealership, or a Maserati dealership or something like that. Okay, yeah, 
if I wanted to stretch myself, I could probably make the payments monthly. The down payment would hurt. I wouldn't be able to make the down payment with no issue. If I wanted a Benz, it'd be like, or a Tesla, it'd be like the monthly payments. I could make them. I could stretch and probably make them. Would I feel comfortable? No. But I would probably be like, you know, someone else that's in one of y'all in my DMs asking me, how do I know? when it's time i would probably be asking people like uh i don't know do you think do i'd probably be asking other people like do you think i can afford a, a tesla do you think i can afford this if the payments are this much and i make this much do you think i can afford and if i'm asking people that that means i don't know if i can afford it for real because why am i asking you no one else can tell you what you can afford because they don't really know how much money you make for real they might know what you put on paper but they don't know how you spend your money they don't know how you know how much all your other lifestyle expenses add up to so they can only tell you just a a freaking they can tell you an answer but it's gonna be like it's just gonna be an answer like it's just gonna be a random it's just gonna be an answer just to the best of their ability but realistically the only one that's gonna be able to know is you so if you if you feel like you have to ask somebody like uh do you think i'll be able to make it full-time resale you're not ready to make it full-time resale you're not ready to live full-time on your business you're just not you know what I'm saying? You have to know that you can that you can do it. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't know you can do it, you're gonna have to make something shake to put you in a position where you will know. You know what I'm saying? So that I say that to 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 say this to give you guys a little bit of insight of like how you can figure out what uh if you you know where you could where you should shoot for basically. Cause some of y'all might be already doing well reselling or with your business and you think you might be able to do it but you don't know where to start. I would say one thing to make sure you're doing is you need to keep track of every sale you make. You need to keep track of all your purchases. You need to keep track of exactly how much money you make to the cent. You need to keep track when you lose money. You need to keep track when you make money. You need to keep track of all that stuff. Because not only just for like, you need it for like taxes and other stuff like that too, but you need it to know where you're at. Like, cause if you don't know how much money you're making, you don't know what you can afford. So you need to know how much money you're making and the way how I did this what I I set a goal for myself reselling This is why I was really like sometimes I would make ten dollars on a shoe Sometimes I would break even you know what I'm saying still to this day I break even sometimes just for the sake of you know making a deal with the customer so the customer Ends up getting the shoe and doesn't have to be like, okay. Yeah, that's cool You know what I'm saying I rather just make the deal make the connection. They'll probably shop again that type of thing don't stress over the profit because I make profit on shoes all the time so I don't have to make profit on every single pair and sometimes you know what I'm saying you gotta uh, actually before I even start ranting on something else let me get back on track so the goal I set for myself was to make a hundred dollars a day reselling that's all I wanted to do was make a hundred dollars a day reselling and I had a, a decent amount of inventory like I had some inventory to where I could do that because I was grinding TikTok and stuff and I was I was made I made a lot of connections with people by doing in in person sneaker meetups like every single day multiple times a day uh, out here in San Diego so I had a good base of people who wanted to shop off me so I knew that I could sell at least five pairs each day and five pairs would be if I if I as long as I made twenty dollars per pair that was fine so this means that like if I was at sixty five dollars for the day and then I sold another pair probably for you know what I'm saying, 10, say 10, $15 profit. Just say, say I'm at $75 for the day actually. Or say I'm at 85, $80 for the day so far. And it's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Somebody asked me, say I got a shoe, some Royal ones, cause that's what I got on my feet. I got some Royal ones. I paid freaking 200 for them. Say I paid 200 for them, they're super clean, right? Say because the market's high, I, I want to get 350 for them, okay? But I paid 200. If I was at $80 for that day, my goal was to reach 100. So if I paid 200 and someone offered me 250, even though I wanted 350, that's $100 less than I than I wanted. I realized once I set that goal for me to do that every day, I was like, dang, if if I pass on this deal, which I like, I, I could pass on the deal because I want 100 for them. So do I let my pride keep me from making it $50 because I think they're worth 100? I want 100. Mind you, I could be getting a lot of people passing on it because the, it was priced too high, whatever it may be, but somebody's ready to pay for 250. I realized it was smarter for me to take that 250, 
take that 50 profit. Now, instead of making 80 that day, I made 130 that day. Now I reached my goal. Now, the reason I started thinking like this was because I could hold that shoe for a month plus and not make that, not get that 350. And still end up having to sell them for a 250 or lower later on. Or maybe I'll sell it for more, maybe I'll sell it for more, but still it would be, it would take so much longer that it wouldn't be worth it when this is the math I was doing. I was like, okay, if I'm trying to make um, a certain, if I'm trying to make $100 a day, so there's 30 days in a month most of the time, so I'll just put, give or take a, a couple, you know, an off day or something, but I, I never take off days because there's no point, you feel me? I love what I do, so I can do this shit all day. 100, plus I really don't do anything else but buy and sell shoes, so. So 100 times 30, right? I mean, obviously that's basic math, but I'm just, I'm gonna let, hear me out. So that's 3,000 a month, right? So if you can reach that goal, now you do that for three months. You try to reach that $100 a day goal for three months without letting your pride get you in the way of accepting offers. Sometimes it's worth it to accept an offer, you know what I'm saying? Even if you only make 20 when you wanted to make 80. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you re if you hit that, if you have a goal for yourself, right? So now that's what this is what I was doing. I was like, so I, then listen, two months I was hitting 100 a day, right? Hitting 100 a day, however I had to. Then, actually, there were some days where I went to sneaker stores and sold like in bulk, just some stuff to move some inventory. And obviously, I got lowballed. And but as long as I'd make profit on one or two of them, and I'd make that hundred dollar a day, it was a win for me. Take that money, go reinvest it with somebody else. So look, so then I up my goal. Now I want to make 125 a month times 30 days. That's so that's how much you you should make a month at minimum. If you make 125, your minimum of what you should make a, a day. And you can split this up however you want to. So say instead of just a hundred dollars a day or 125 a day, you could do a 125, 125 times five. Say you want to make 625 out of five days out the week. Say you give yourself Saturday and Sunday off. You could do that too. And it's probably four weeks. So that's like 2,500. That's that's giving yourself two off days, you know what I'm saying? So your goal is to make 625 reselling for um, in five days out the week, which is very possible. I know it's possible, but obviously you have to start somewhere. This is where I was at. I'm telling you from a point where I already had inventory. Of course, you can start at $20 a day. You start at $10 a day. You start at $20 a day though. The, th the key is to start somewhere and gradually grow. Gradually just keep growing and growing until $20 turns into $50 a day. And $50 a day is fine. You make $50 a day, boom, $50 times, we'll just say 25 to give you some rest days. So that's $12.50 a month. So now you're making like over a thousand a month recently, which is good. Everyone starts somewhere. If you make, even if you start at 200 in a month, you gotta start somewhere. But you wanna just grow that to 50 a day, so now you're making 100 a day to 120 a day, 125, 150, 160, 180, 300. And eventually, it's a slow growth process. No one started reselling and just instantly started making thousands in a week. I'm not gonna sell you that bullshit. Like, I'm not gonna put no title how to, you know what I'm saying, make a thousand a week off of one month of reselling. That's not how it works, you know what I'm saying? You gotta work up to that. So, but eventually, that 125 gets easy. Once you have inventory and you got your pages rolling, you post it on all different platforms and you got, you know what I'm saying, all that stuff moving, you know what I'm saying, it's easy to hit those numbers eventually. Because if you got if you got 50 pairs posted on GOAT and 40 pairs on freaking eBay and then you got pairs on OfferUp and stuff like that and you selling and you've already been making these connections, it'll get rolling, but you gotta get the ball rolling first. So don't get me wrong, you don't start at 100 a day. You're gonna start making $10 a day you know what I'm saying, around there at 10, but 10 goes to 20 and 30 and 40. And like I said, you gotta work up your way up slow and be patient and gradually work your way up. So eventually when you get to the point, like when you have, say you have a lot of followers or you got a lot of clientele cause you've been doing deals with people for months now, or if not years, once you've been doing deals with years now, which most resellers you see that are successful have been selling shoes for years these niggas did not start selling shoes in one month and then start having, you know, thousands of followers and a bunch of people that want to buy from them. That shit took years of time and work. You know what I'm saying? And don't don't think that it doesn't cuz it does. You got to remember that <laughs> them niggas work from them niggas started doing the same thing as you. $10 a day, work your way up. Now when you're making 
say, we'll just say 280 a day. Say you make it 280 a day, we're gonna say times 25 days. So that's 7,000 a month. Damn. If you, can, <laughs> if you can get to 280 a day and make 7,000 a month, then it's like, if you're in California, you can live off reselling. But you gotta know that like, you gotta put in that time to where you know like, you you did that, like you made 280 a day for three months, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, okay, these next three months, I should make more than 280 a day. Now you're making 7,000, you can go get you a crib that's like, you know what I'm saying, 1,000 to 1,500 a month rent and you'll feel comfortable. You won't even have to ask me, you won't have to ask anybody else in their comment section. You gonna literally know, it's like, man, I make 280 a day, I could pay this rent, you know what I'm saying? But you're not gonna get there overnight I don't, I don't think you can find a crib for a thousand fifty hundred, Cali. Yes, you can. I mean, you ain't gonna be in the nicest neighbor. You oh, not, oh, not where oh. you live. Okay, we live. We live. What live you mean? We guy. live. <laughs> we live in the same neighborhood, damn near. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Okay, but okay, yeah, you're right. Probably in the hood. You yeah. might have dodged some bullets going yeah, go inside. I was looking at some places, bro. Yeah. You might have dodged some bullets. <laughs> okay, okay. When we say that, then yeah, I thought you meant like yeah. an art area. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Not for a thousand. Yeah. But times, I mean, you can You have roommates. Three. You have roommates. A thousand times three. Yeah, a thousand times three. <laughs> but you can have roommates, though. Yeah. True, and ain't nothing wrong with having roommates, bro. Everybody got to start somewhere. Yeah. You know? I'm going gonna, gonna to move over with him. He, I'm going to be his roommate, so shit. If I have to though, like if just something happens and I just get dead broke, bro, I'll definitely get a crib with you. <laughs> Wait, so if you get dead broke? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> you gotta live me broke. <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But real shit, y'all. Back to what were we talking about? Yeah, how to a make thousand fifty hundred. Yeah, make a full, make a full, uh, a living, uh, reselling full time. Basically. You got to know, bruh, and you got to take the steps to take good care of your freaking finances and keep a track of you how much you make, and you have to do it for a long time. So you have to keep track of how, you, how much you make for a year and then decide what you should do. But that's what I'm saying. Once you do that, once you keep track of how much you make for a whole year, you will look back and be able to say, okay, I can afford this and I can't afford that. And that's how you know how to, how to you know, if you can do it full time or not. But like I said, bro, you just gotta know, you gotta actually know. Don't don't trick yourself. Don't let your ego trick you into, into things. Don't let your pride tell you, oh, I wanna flex on this person or I wanna show my parents or I wanna show my freaking brother or whatever it is. Don't let your pride trick you into doing something for somebody else's reaction. Mm. Ask yourself, if you can truly afford it on your own and you'll know if you can afford it on your own or not but i can't tell you because i don't know how much you make i don't know your spending habits no none of that that's why you got to keep track of that so you can know how much you make in your spending habits and once you know you'll to be you'll be able to decide is this the right time but like i said for me i just knew man i just knew but appreciate y'all for watching this video man signing out out of town, never saw her before Tell her, baby, we don't got that long Listen, it's not my city show